got her. She's good. She's good. Just chill there. I got you. Alright, you, you just chill. Here. Got it? You want to tell me what's going on with you? What's going on with me? Ellie, I just saw you breathe spores. I told you. I'm immune. Okay. You're immune? Mm -hmm. Come on. I am. She is immune. I was bitten a long time ago. The fuck are you talking about? I was bitten and nothing happened. The chemical burn. Yep, she was hiding it. Maria and Tommy and Joel are the only ones who know. New. Now you know. I can't get you infected if that's what you're worried about. I can't make you immune either. Okay. Well. What? Wasn't expecting that one. Don't worry, it's not yours. <laughs> oh. Really? <laughs> what are we? What are we supposed to do now? Nothing. I just need to rest for a second. Are you fucking kidding? Me? How long have you known? <sighs> it was late a few weeks ago. A few weeks? We could have. We could have still turned back. Well, I didn't know. I wasn't sure, okay? I didn't want to be a burden. Well, you're a burden now, aren't you? Oh, <laughs> probably not the best choice of words, but yeah. I'm gonna make sure this place is secure. Why didn't you tell us before then? We could have, like. Said no to my comment. How's it going, YouTube? Are you please here? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more The Last of Us 2, guys. We got here last time, which is the theatre, guys. Um, we tried to find Leah at the TV station, but unfortunately, she'd already been killed. And then we got ambushed by WLF, which chased us into the subway. And we went through the subway, and then we got followed by like a massive horde of um, infected. So we took, um, barricaded here and found out Dina's pregnant. So that's fun. So yeah, she's been pregnant, that's why she's been, like, not feeling so good lately, so yeah. But yeah, we're gonna explore the theatre, um, see what we can find out. wonder how many people die in this Pinnacle play. Pinnacle Theatre presents an American tragedy. Cassandra. Alright. Cool. 
see what we can do. Oh, trading card, cool. Did you get it? Pick it up, Ellie. Why is she not picking it up? There we go. <laughs> Finally. Morton. Ooh. That looks a cool card. Mort Marquez. Marquez? 60 brains, 40 brawn, affiliation none. 16 year old Mort Marquez lay in a coma for 10 days. After a horrible car accident, remembering nothing, save for visions of a cloak skeleton giving him a scythe. Upon waking, he learns of his ability to make any living thing he touches wither and die. When he inadvertently kills the family cat, both the sight of champions and sparks seek him out. The former hoping to keep him away from the general public, the latter to use him for bioweapon research. Mortem is one Mortem is on a path to find answers. Why was he cursed with these morbid powers? Neutral. Hmm, that sucks. Take like that family guy episode. The <laughs> freaking Peter becomes death and everything he touches they kill. They kill them, bro. That's pretty funny, bro. Alright, let's have a look around. Check out the toilets and that. See if there's any loot we can get. Give me the loot, give me the loot, loot, loot. Yeah, Dina's just chilling on the sofa because she's not feeling too good. Um, she found out a few weeks ago that she was pregnant but she never told us. Which is a bit daft considering we're on a mission to try and find Tommy and it's very dangerous because it's infected and stuff. So it's a bit of a daft idea not telling her that she was pregnant, so yeah. Ellie's kinda of pissed about it, so you know. But you know what you're gonna do about it. Okay, let's go upstairs. See what we can find it. Pregnant. Fucking pregnant. No, bro. How could you bad keep time. something like that? It's bad times, home dog. Bad times. Employees only. Hmm. I'll go up there in a sec. Just need a look around here. Nothing here. Anybody want a pipe? What can I get you? What can I get you? Be good. Anything around here? Anything on the table, no? Oh, trading card. Cool. Oh. Beyond trading card. Ooh, cool. Amani Graves. Brains 80, 40 brawn, affiliation none. After near death experience that left her in a coma for two weeks, this seasoned Detective found that she could cross from our world to the spirit world, allowing her to communicate with the dead. Not known, uh, now known as Beyond, she splits her time between solving murder investigations and serving as a spirit or medium for grieving families seeking closure. However, her forays into the spirit world are clearly hastening her demise. She looks considerably older than her 35 years. How much longer does she have? Hero. That's a pretty cool power to have. But it seems to be aging her quickly than quicker than she should be. Thirty-four days. Interesting. Hmm. It's a pretty cool theater this is, dude. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Oh, looks like someone's been squatting here. September fourth, me, Perez Green. And Adams made it to the listening post two days ago. And so far so good. WLF haven't come looking here yet. The city's lost it to the WLF. We escaped headquarters out of sheer luck and good timing. Torres Ward and the others are probably dead camping here. Grateful to be alive for now. September 6th. Can't sleep. Been in with a fever. No medicine. Looked everywhere. We don't have anything except the uniforms on our backs. No contract form anyone on the radio either. How many of us made it out? September 7th. Still feverish, don't have any big cuts, so probably not an infection. Others are waiting until nightfall, then making a run to the hospital to get medica medicine for me and supplies for wherever we're going next. They're good guys. September 10th. This is this shouldn't be taking this long. Okay. This note's old. 
Still, better be careful. I wonder how long it was here for. It's a pretty nice little camp set, little, little set up there. It's pretty cool. Nice set up, dude. Nice set up, man. Nice set up, man. Cool, got some cells here. Shadow tip, shadow tip. Guess we go to here. A window. But there's also someone going here. Oh, two things. Give me all of the loot. Give me the loot. Give me the loot. Okay. But yeah, I can't believe Dina's pregnant, dude. Like, what the heck? What the heck? What the heck, Dina? What the heck? September 13th. I don't think they're coming back. They're not coming back. I either got ambushed or they ditched me. Not my fault I got sick. At least the fever's gone, but now I'm fucking starving. Can probably raid the buildings nearby for food and see if I can raise someone on the radio. September 15th. Constant rain means I at least won't die of thirst. Unfortunately, it keeps making the electricity conk out all the time. Makes it kind of hard to use the radio. Not like anyone's answering anyway. The WLF can't have hit all the federal listening polls. No way. Need to keep trying. September 16th. Dreamt they were laughing as I slowly bed out from a good shot. Woke up an hour ago. Still shaking. Need a cigarette. You think there'd be a pack or two stashed somewhere in a fucking theatre but apparently not this one. September 19th. Power now again. Going to head to the roof and see if I can get it back on. Hmm, okay. So, need to head upstairs, up to the top and get, um, get some, um, stuff. So yeah, I need to do that. Need to head up to the thing and get some, turn the power on. Oh, it's raining heavy, bro. Let's go out to <laughs> the roof, I guess. <coughs> Get to this roof then. Put some power on, I guess. Oh, we'll get it in here. Cool, yeah. Oh, that's that up in there. Cool. Nice. Got it. We got it, we got it. Let's go, Katie. Damn. We got fried? Just a little well, bit. Better you than me. He got fried just a little bit. Yeah, well, he got fried to the heck, but yeah. It's okay. Go down. Go back down and... Let's even get this radio working. That's in the employee room. <laughs> this one here. Let's even get this one working. This. Keys. All right. Dope. Where's up to? Guess it's to like the main part or something. We actually go and watch the shows, maybe. I don't know. Go and try it out. I guess it's downstairs. These doors here, yeah, it might be for this. Yeah, it is. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Nice. Oh, wow. Alright. 
I miss the theater. I love, I love going to the theater. Wow. Oh, Joel. You love watching a movie in this place. I miss the cinemas and theaters and stuff. Like... Yeah, I miss it. The sick habit with brick shit houses. <laughs> Pinnacle Theatre. 25 idea at the door. One proceeds to benefit Seattle's Children's Centre. Oh, that's nice though. Sick habit set list. Settle for less. Who can say once more into into the breach? Hide out, running towards my problems, possession. The light, the two minds, Enko, Armstrong and Holly Q E D. Cool. Cool. <laughs> Spooky. A little bit. No way. What you found? Ah, oh, dope a guitar. Is it got it in? Yo. That's sick, dude. Sick man, sick. That's really cool. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. You wanna play something again? Ooh, tune that. Tune that up, girl. Playing that song, all right? If I ever I'm guessing Joel told her on that song because Joel taught her to play guitar. Pretty cute. Three years earlier. Oh, are you gonna do this to me, Naughty Dog? Are you, are you really gonna do this to me? I still don't sound like something. Bruh, no. Oh, I suck. <sighs> Just need to build up your calluses, Joel. that's all. Yeah. My boy Joel, man. Come on. Alright, come on. Just it? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Let's take Lee all over again. Let's see if you like Lee from the Walking Dead all over again. Bruh. I'm gonna start guessing. Do you want to spoil your surprise now? Oh no. Ooh, a surprise. Cool. Is it a dinosaur? Stop trying to guess. I ain't telling you. It's a dinosaur. <sighs> cool. Alright. <laughs> Is it an elephant? <sighs> Ooh, it Is could be it an elephant. A convertible? <laughs> You're not gonna guess. Is it a puppy? Is it a lot of kittens? You mean a litter? What's a litter? A bunch of kittens. <laughs> yeah, she won't know. She grew up in the zombie apocalypse. She won't know what a litter kitten is. Mind your step. She didn't go to I school. Got it. Well, she did. <laughs> 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 Bruh. <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> Joel, God damn it, bro. <laughs> what is wrong with you? You should see your face. <laughs> what do I drown? I think I gotta drown. You gotta work on that confidence, kiddo. <laughs> yeah, keep laughing, old man. See what happens. <laughs> this way. Oh, this is so cute together, dude. It's so cute. Such a dod, bro. Your swimming's getting better. He's such a dog. Remember now, don't just, just flail about. You got the water with your whole arm. 
Blah, blah, blah. I missed Joel, dude. I had to know I'm getting through. Whoa. Wait, Joel, jo <laughs> you okay there, bro? <laughs> what, what the hell? What the hell was that? Dude, are you feeling all right? You just like hey, morphed into the floor, like bro. See that deer over there? See, yeah. just through there, look. That was such a weird glitch, bro. What do you mean? You see it? Yeah. Looks like. Oh, got him. <laughs> got him. How's that feel? What up now, bro? What up now? <laughs> Refreshing. Yeah, it's not nice getting pushed in, is it? Oh, well, got him. Actually, we need to swim through this part anyway. I got you back. You're angry and upset. <laughs> I am very angry and upset. Now, come on. <sighs> Fine. Yo. <gasps> Let's go, Geronimo. You're gonna need to dive under here. Hey, take a deep breath. Yeah, I got this. I got this, Papa. Papa Joel, I got this. Don't worry about it. I'm following you, Papa Joel. Yeah. <coughs> Refreshing water. Very nice. And now I'm all wet. What do you mean? <laughs> is it my sixth grade history teacher wanting to apologize for being a massive dick <laughs> I beg your pardon my friend and I would argue whenever he called the fireflies terrorists we got a lot of detention you know you really need to stop letting people rile you up <laughs> it's hard when they're dicks point still stands that's true I agree with that okay, got another dive over here where are you taking me? I wonder where he's taking us. I'm intrigued to find out now. Is it... a uh, new pair of sneakers? How many of those do you have? Not enough, clearly. Not enough. <laughs> So help me, Papa. There. <coughs> there you go. Okay. Fuck it. I'm done guessing. Well, good. Oh, we're so in sync. Look at that troll. We're so in sync. But, like, is it a massive comic book collection? No, wait. A new DVD collection? Yes. Bro, is that a fucking dinosaur? That's a, which one? Uh, Holy shit, Joel. We're here. Oh my god, it is a dinosaur! Bruh. Yeah, it is. Joel! That is dope. Holy shit. Bro. Oh, it's a motherfucking dinosaur. That's so cool. It's a mother fluffing dinosaur, bro. What do you mean? That's so cool. King of the tyrant lizards. That's a big boy. That is a big boy. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> okay, so we've got some stuff to look at. Oh, that's cute. Tommy and Joel. Farming rotation blows. I don't get why people ask for this assignment. Go to self, talk to Maria about how early I can sign up for patrol training. Dean and I found this cool old campground today. She said kids used to go there in the summer for fun. We found all these art supplies. She cut coloured paper and made some crowns for us while it rained outside. It was a good day. Ah, that sounds cool. Josie's taking me on a camping trip next week for my birthday. He found something he said I love. He's acting very proud of himself. Smug old foggy. <laughs> Cat sat next to me at movie night. Our elbows kept touching. I think she was doing it on purpose. I don't know. Maybe not. Probably. Probably not. Dina made me a crown for my birthday. She went back to that camp and got all this paper. It's pretty great. Aw, that's cute. It's a mother fluffing dinosaur, bro. Oh, it's a mother fluffing dinosaur. What are you saying, bro? It's a dinosaur, man. It's so cool. Oh, we got a museum. Heck yeah, dude. It's 
Science and History, bro. Wyoming Museum of Science and History. That's awesome. Oh, how did you find this place? <laughs> Maria. She, uh, she told me about it. Whoa. Figured it'd be right up your alley. Figured right. Heck yeah, dude. Let me in. <laughs> What's this? Uh, it's a book. <laughs> it's a dinosaur book. Mm, okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, and then our bone. Mm, it's adorable. There's a hat over here. I want this hat. Give me this hat. Oh man! <laughs> you want to try it on? I do not. <laughs> Your loss, bro. You spell spot me. It's my birthday. Oh, dude. Globes and shit. That's so cool. Bruh. This is so awesome. Oh, look at those talons. That is a velociraptor. Actually, it's a D. Dionanicus. Mm, pretty sure these are velociraptors. Yeah. I mean, at least that's what they called him in this movie I saw. Hmm. Just one about Jurassic Park. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> she looks so cute. Look, he got a little hat on her, bro. Like, she looks so cute. Look at this queen. Yes. Joel, look at, look at me. I got a cool hat, Joel. Are you shook? I would be very shook if I was you. I look pretty awesome. Not gonna lie. So there's gonna be anything that. Ooh. <coughs> oh, hello. Sorry, the dinosaurs are busy right now. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, wait. One of the dinosaurs is here. <laughs> Joel? It's oh, for roasted. You. Very funny. Roasted. Roasted. <laughs> That was pretty funny. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Did you get it? It's because you're old. No, I get it. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, it's so cute. <laughs> bruh. I love these guys, bruh. They're so adorable. What's this? 51 cents. Ooh, souvenir pianos. You can get them from um, Disney World. I got my dad some. When I first went to Florida. Disney World. It was cool. Compsognathus. Whew. That's a big name for little guys. Yeah. They swarm you. Bro. Did you see that in a movie too? Actually, yeah. But a different one. See, there's a sequel. Donut on a wall. Wasn't as good. Cool. Yeah, the sequel was not so good. I agree there. It's alright, but it's not so good. Giants of the past. Step back through time to over 65 million years ago when dinosaurs and other prehistoric giants roamed the earth in a giant pavilion. You find full skeletons on display, see how you'd measure up next to our own triceratops. Winnie, and don't forget to look up. There are pterodactyls circling afterward. Head into a uh, annex to get hands on with fossils of footprints, feathers, and more. Wowie wowie! Oh, whoa, is it big? She really should. Try this up, try the tops. <laughs> Joel, look! <laughs> that is a hat on a dinosaur. It's called here. a hatosaur. A hatosaur, bruh. It's a hatosaur, <laughs> man. What do you mean? <laughs> It's a little hadasaur. Alright, Joel. It's a freaking hadasaur. What are we saying? There's another hadasaur. Tiny head. Hey, hey, is this gonna be a thing? <laughs> Tiny head. Please don't let it be a thing. It's a stegos <laughs> stegosaurus. Joel, you wear the hat now. You wear hat now. Hey, Joel. You wear Ellie. it now. <clears throat> don't you dare take it <laughs> off. My birthday. My rules. Yeah, man. <clears throat> Looks good on you. Trophy and nice. See? Looks good on you, bro. Even the achievements is so. Whoa. This one's brain was the size of a walnut. No, no way. 
Looks like you two have something in common. <laughs> oh, <laughs> good oh, one. roasted. Oh, 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 roasted. She just got hella roasted, dude. Bro, she mad. <laughs> oh. This is such a cool place. Joel, well done, bro. The Dimetrodon was an apex predator. Dimetrodon. It's an apex predator. The most badass predator. A predator who plays apex legends, <laughs> obviously. Pretty short for that. Gosh, Joel. <laughs> Wait, were you talking about me? Obviously, he plays Apex Legends, you know what I'm saying? It's a game of dinosaur, dude. What do you mean? Gallimimus's name means chicken mimic. <laughs> I, who names these? You're kind of sick of chicken. Well, they're dumb. Yeah, kind of sick of the way chicken went by the way it stands, like if you look at it. It's weird. That's a big boy. Oof, there's a 50 cent word. Brachiosaurus ate Brachiosaurus. 600 pounds of plants each day. Whew, imagine the poops! Yeah, there's one scene where, uh, Bro. actually one of the guys said, that's a big mound of shit. <laughs> <laughs> what is this movie, and when can we see it? Tell you what, when we get back to Jackson, movie night. I hope they got to watch that movie. I hope they did. I'd imagine they did. I think this is a while, this is like three years ago. So I think they would have got to watch it, which is good. I'm happy about that. I think there's a toilet thing on uh, oh, trading card. Nighthawk trading card. Cool. Oh, He's cool. got a dog. What you got there? These uh, superhero cards. Seems like they were popular. I think Sarah was into those for a while. What was it those little creature things? I forget. Pokemon cards? <laughs> Jerry Lavelle. Brains 80, Brawn 80. Society of Champions. When a freshly minted Air Force recruit found himself caught in a skirmish between Spark... Oh, like Air Robots and the Society of Champions his quick thing and ended up saving the day. With his arms and legs wounded in the battle, Dr. Stem created a set of energy wings for his arms and energy blades for his shoots, allowing him to cover both land and sky at absurd speeds. Together with his log greyhound Ezio, the small town kid known as the Nighthawk scours the world for evil doers always ready to dive back into action. Hero. He sounds like a cool hero. Very cool hero. I like the sound of this guy. Understand what was that all about, but okay. It's a little details, not your dog, it's a little details. I like that you put the little details in, pretty cool. Alright, let's go on to the next area. There's some over here as well. There's some heads in here. Then we'll head to the stairs. <laughs> Do you get it? Head to the stairs. Heads, head to yeah. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> that was a bad joke. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Velociraptor. Velociraptor. Joel, this is uh the one you were talking about, the Velociraptor. So small. Well, don't trust the movies, I guess. Yeah, the movies aren't always accurate, so you know. Look how thick this one's skull is. Kind of looks like. Tommy. <laughs> I'm telling him you said that. Please don't. Catch it in the right light. Boom. Tommy. <laughs> That's mean on Tommy, bro. Why do you say that about Tommy, bro? That's hella mean, man. Why would you do that? Whoa. This Over one looks like a bird. Well, actually, paleontologists believe that birds were descended from dinosaurs. Well. That's cool. Excuse me, Mr. Professor. 
I happen to know a thing or two. From a movie. Keep going. <laughs> wow, this is awesome. I like this present, Joel. Even though it's not for me, I like it. Oh, there's another hat. There's another hat. <laughs> Yay. Yes. Joel, look. I got a hat too. Joel, where are you? I got one too. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. That's so cool. That's so cool, Joel. Look at this go. We can take it in a better light upstairs, hopefully. Get some more cute photos of them upstairs. Did you go to museums a lot? Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. I love them. I swear that girl dragged me to every damn museum in Texas. Oh, that's cute. Whoa. That's cool. Looks like a giraffe. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Hmm. <laughs> I see the appeal. <laughs> Told you. Put your hat though. All right. Extinction. Oh, is this all due to space? Bro. Did you know this was here? Bruh, this is awesome. Um, we can walk through the stars. Oh, shut up. This is dope. Oh. Hey, Joel, can you name all the planets? <clears throat> My very educated mother just served us nice pizzas. Uh, Bruh. did you just have a stroke? My Mercury. Very Venus. Cool. Mother Mars. Oh, okay. I get it. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Look at all the different space rockets. Hey, Joel. Guess what the first animal to go to space was? I don't have to guess. That was a monkey. No, it was fruit flies. Yeah, in 1947. It was to see radiation exposure at high altitudes. And they lived through it. That gum girl, you are smart. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Did they become super flies? What? No. <laughs> they could have. Whoa. Tell me another fun fact. Hmm. Astronauts say the moon smells like gunpowder. That is a fun fact. Hmm. Well, wait. How would? That's interesting. They oh well, they would take the moon samples back inside and smell them later I guess that's pretty cool fascinating okay what's next Saturn V you tell me Saturn V uh quiz me <laughs> I don't know who was the first person in space oh it's easy Yuri Gagarin Gagarin is that Gagarin or I don't know how you say it. I've only read it, so... Anyway. He flew to space on April 12th, 1961. Color me impressed. Hmm. How many books have you read about this? That's so cute, dude. Come on, Joel. Isn't that incredible? <laughs> Why don't you tell well, me what you like? What's wrong with the eyes, bro? It looks so weird. Mm, I don't know. People in your time... They... Had it easy. Hmm. <laughs> I guess relatively speaking, sure. I mean, they didn't need to go to space, but they did it anyway. It's ballsy. Pretty much. <laughs> ballsy. <laughs> ballsy. All right, kiddo. Now I get it. Yeah, we can get it. We can get it. Hey, did you know that the heat shields of space shuttles are made of sand? I did not. Wow. It was some kind of thick rubber. Nope. Sand. STS. You're welcome. It's fascinating to learn about. It's pretty cool. 
I like it. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Journal entry added. One day. Hm. One day. We'll get to space. We can carry on dreaming, Ali. We can carry on dreaming, girl. Wow. Whoa. I think someone from freaking Star Wars. <laughs> what the hell? Ooh, a buggy. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. A buggy. Yeah. Where's the steering wheel? Rovers don't use steering wheels. They use joysticks. Huh. Hang on. Is this the real one? <laughs> well, considering they left the real ones on the moon, I would say no. <laughs> Bruh. The spacesuits, dude. God, that's so cool. Bruh. Wow. What are you throwing your hat for? Bruh. Oh, because you want to try these on. I get you. Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> so cool. Look, I'm buzzed right here. <laughs> Like space. I come in peace. And dust. Space and dust. Love it. This is nice, pretty cool. <laughs> yes. What do you think, Joel? That looks like the pot. Oh, can we go in this? Come on, bro. Can we? Whoa. Going in. After you. Oh my god, that's so cool. Watch your head. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> that's dope. Okay. Look at all so those badass. chickens. <laughs> Man. Could you imagine just... <laughs> Happy birthday, kiddo. What's this? What is this? This is a thing that took a mighty effort to find. Hmm. Take it. What is this? What is it? What's it got on it, Joe? Is this your Spotify playlist, bro? Or is this your mixtape? <gasps> it's Joe's mixtape, guys. Obviously, come on. Close your eyes. It, it'll be worth it. You ready for this fire mixtape, guys? <laughs> Oh wow, it's a thingy, <laughs> bro. It's a shuttle launch, that's awesome. Bro, that's so cool. Awesome. That was be really hard to find, like you said, like bro. That's really cool though that he's found that. Oh, that's cute. Joel's the best dad ever. <laughs> oh my god, bro. He's so cool. Oh, 
It's so cute. Aww. This is such a cute boy. Are you okay? Are you fucking kidding me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You're welcome, kiddo. What the fuck are you, Miss Joel, dude? You're so cool. Well, what do you say we, uh, keep looking around, huh? Yeah, I guess. My heart, bro. My heart, bro. My heart. It's so sad. Like, bro. It's cool, but sad at the same time. Hey. Welcome to Earth. Yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. I love it, bro. I love it. I love it, Papa Joel. I love it. It's awesome. Put out my bug, right? Yeah. Heck yeah. Looking good. Okay, where are we going now, Jolly Boy? Going in here. Here. High court, fire assistance. <laughs> Yay. Thank you. There's more museum stuff over there. Yeah, I never checked out that building. Well, let's go. And just how do you plan Ooh. on getting yourself ah! up? Ellie! God! <laughs> like this. Hello. Never give anyone else this much grief. Yeah. Get down here! No! Come on! Hey! Whose birthday is it? You can't keep doing that! Come on! I want a good splash! We've got more exploring to do! Come on. Dada boy. <laughs> Geronimo! <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. Nice. Nice. <sighs> What's a bear? That's cool. It's a mother freaking bear, bro. That's awesome. Come on, we gotta get in. Aw, oh, damn it, it's locked. Hey, who's being there? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Come on. I'll open the door for you. Come on, we can't chicken out now. Yay. <laughs> Let's go. Thank you, Pop. And I'm in. Ooh, souvenirs. Okay, bad news. There's shit blocking the door. Well, see if you can find me another way in. I'll, I'll walk around the outside. Okay, right. be safe. You be safe. There are dinosaurs around. <laughs> Yeah, the dinosaurs will be getting you, bro. Be careful. Whoa. Oof. Stay strong, buddy. Yikes. Tough break. There's something going under here. What's another card? Let's go. Sora. Whoa. It's like a dinosaur, bro. That's cool. Lizard person. I don't even know how to even pronounce that. Xying? Axine Jing. 80 brains, 8 brawn, spark. Not paleontologist Ying worked in secret with the scientist as spark, attempting to splice human and dinosaur genes together. Using herself as the test subject, she succeeded beyond her wildest expectations. Now when she feels trapped or endangered, her body transforms into a hybrid dinosaur. The spiked tail of the Stegosaurus, the armor of an Archaeosaurus and the speed of a Velociraptor. A formidable op opponent by any measure, this society of champions has one reliable strategy. Make her feel calm and safe until danger is afoot. Neutral villain. That's pretty dope, not gonna lie. That's pretty cool. Oh. 
I killed for them. This guy needed a hug. <laughs> Bro, do you need a hug? Are you okay? Do you need a hug? Hmm, goats. My um, my son just came out today, guys. Say hi to my bye son. <laughs> uh, bro, jokes for days. Jokes for days, son. More owls and shit. It's dark in here. Oh, that eagle, though, bro. That's cool. Look at the types of birds. That's really cool. God, museums are so interesting, dude. Birds of the coast and wetlands. It's a duck. Oh my god, it's a duck. I feel like a motherfucking stuck in this duck. Oh, shit. Makes me want to quack. What the fuck is that? Head? Oh my gosh, I can't. It's a bunny. Biomes of North America. <laughs> Yo, biomes? Are we in Minecraft, bro? Are we in Minecraft? The stragglers who snuck into camp, they just wanted food. What's that noise, bro? Come out, fucker. The kid who ran into the blast, I couldn't stop him. Bro, that's creepy. Oh, we have to have shit because there's things here, probably. Trash pandas! Bro. <laughs> the people in the van. We locked them in and doused it with gas. Holy shit, dude. What the hell? We doused it with gas? Bruh, that's, that's hella rough. That is hella rough. <coughs> What's up, dude? We wanted to end suffering, we wanted to restore him yet each time we sacrificed part of ourselves. I just kept saying it'll be worth it. Now we've disbanded with nothing to show for our sins. I thought coming here might reignite something, some purpose. My parents love bringing me here. It's one of my earliest memories from before the outbreak. Before of this cruelty and savagery. Those memories just made me angrier. I don't want to be in this world anymore. I can't look at the person I've become. That's sad. Wow, butterflies. Hmm. Cool. All these cool bugs, bro. A stink bug on there and everything. The reason for that is because of freaking Animal Crossing. <laughs> I know some of these butterflies and stuff of Animal Crossing. I don't know if you've been playing Animal too much, dude. Like, bro. But since we got quarantined, like, that's all I was doing was playing Animal Crossing. I think, like, a majority of people, that's all that what we were doing. That's all I was doing, playing Animal Crossing. I wanna go and check around here first. Cause, um, can I get into that door? Nah, I can't. Okay. Yeah, I think that's what a lot of people just do in playing Animal Crossing through quarantine. Pretty cool. It's an awesome game though. It's a very cool game. I love Animal Crossing. It's really good. <sighs> Ooh, wolves. Stupid fake animals. <laughs> Hello. What's that? Holy oh, shit! Freaking hog, bro. Bro. Oh, shit. Freaking hog, dude. The heck? I'm in here. What's up, dude? <laughs> nice here to drop in. How was it? It's just some animal. It's a piggy. Hmm. Liars. Well, let's get a move on. I want to get a fire going before it gets too dark. Come on. 
I'm guessing this is after they went to the fireflies and they couldn't find a cure. Mm, maybe. Okay. Seattle day two. Seattle day two. Okay guys, well I'm going to end this episode here of The Last of Us 2. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. That was a cute one. We got the memory with Joel from my birthday when they went to the museum. That was really cute. It was really interesting to look around that museum as well and all the facts that she knows. So I guess someone at um, Naughty Dog really likes space and stuff. So that's pretty cool. I learned something new today about space and stuff. That's pretty awesome. But anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to smash like button down below. Subscribe to channel if you saw and I'll catch you guys in the next stream video. Peace out, because we'll see you tonight. Welcome to the world, y'all.